and today we are doing the fasting follow challenge. Eh, is it to see who can finish this the fastest? No, wait, eh, hey, stop, wait. Water, how to rematch? Oh, yeah. Now, my I challenge you to the real plastic bottle challenge. Um, is it to see who can aim this bottle to the bin over there? No, that's so wasteful. Let's think of creative ways we can reuse these plastic bottles. Are you up for the challenge? Let's go. Okay, so Fiance, you won the drinking challenge earlier. You can. But it's unfair. <laughs> okay, you can pick your first ingredient first. Banana. Okay. Why I like to eat banana? What's wrong? <laughs> I want a strawberry. Mm, okay. Yay! So healthy. Who's our master chef? Science center master chef. Got hard shape. Sure. Oh, the camera is on. Our hands really steady. Oh, my hand shaking. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. Huh? You're done. Yeah. I'm not. Stop eating. Can't leave me. Ah, there. my hand. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ready? Get set. Go. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna copy what you're doing. Stop. Okay. 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 I stop. Okay. Okay, one minute. Huh? I don't know what they want to do. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop. It should do the head something, you know, like master uh, chef. Okay, <laughs> Starting first because I think mine looks better. <laughs> so mine is called First Love with the sweetness of strawberries and honey mixed with the tanginess and sourness of yogurt. Um, mine is called Sunset. Okay, so it doesn't look like sunset, but it's about the feeling that you get because sunset is usually the time that we finally end work and go home. So you can finally relax and have this. Uh, so it's gonna taste a little fruity and peanutty. Okay, so there's a lot of bananas and they're cut in strips. So from the first scoop until the last scoop, you should be able to have bananas. Yours look very little. It's... <laughs> minimalism. <laughs> you know like in restaurants, like high class restaurants, they always give you like mm. one tiny thing. Yeah, that's the thing I'm doing. You all think hers looks nicer, <laughs> mine look nicer? I think it's mine ah. Right. strawberry color so it looks very appetizing it's not bad not bad i like the crunch of the cornflakes i think i'll rate this like a six out of ten like i can imagine myself eating this for breakfast reminds me of a, a mcdonald ice cream sundae anything that reminds me of mcdonald's is a plus mm. the honey and the yogurt mm. i think it complements each other i think everything works together pretty well Probably not the conflicts, so I'll give it 7 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, I guess a granola like looks like the sand on a beach. I mean, generally, I'm not a fan of peanut butter, so... Mm, I think the peanut butter doesn't really go well with it. <laughs> not the cliche, but I think this is sick as well. Yeah. It doesn't look as... Colorful as the other one, but who knows? Maybe the taste would set it apart. The sweetness of the banana works well with the yogurt. The granola gives it a pretty rough texture. Eight out of ten. No. Big rocks, then middle rock, then <laughs> small rock, sand, and then this Oreo cookies. Oreo cookies. <laughs> Oreo cookies. Oreo cookies. <laughs> yeah, five minutes starts now. You don't copy me. What? 
I take the cat, then you take the cat. I take the cotton wool, then you take the cotton wool. <laughs> Can you describe to our viewers what are you doing? I'm cutting the cotton wool the same size as the cap so that it will stay inside the cap comfortably. I'm just stuffing the cotton wool. <laughs> <laughs> Poor cotton wool. Why not? I think the rocks first because the sand is so small that it will still go through all the gaps. No, but <laughs> it will. It's small yeah. enough to go through. I think mine will work better. <laughs> it's okay, we will see the results later. I'm adding so, big rocks after small rocks. For mine, I'm adding small rocks, then the big rocks so that the big ones will be filtered first. The big particles will be filtered out first. Then it will flow down and hopefully clean water will come out. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> this rock is so pretty. Huh? It's so pretty. Okay, time's up. Yay. Yay. Okay. I think it will work. It will. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the water that it has to filter? I think there's a challenge that you cannot beat me in. Why is it? I'm gonna use a bottle to grow plants. Grow plants? But your plants always die because you forget to water them. Uh, yeah, but not this time because I only have to water them once a week. Really? Well, do you want to know how to make that? Join us on our online workshop on 26th of September titled The Cycles of Life where we will provide you with the materials and teach you how to do so. In the meantime, we hope you have learned a little bit more about keeping our resources sustainable. Tell us or show us in the comments what other creative ways you can reuse a plastic bottle. We'll be picking one lucky winner to receive a discount promo code for the workshop. Do subscribe to our channel or follow our page for more updates on Science O'Clock. Bye! Bye.